It was an important day on the island of Soda. A new library was going to be opened. Everyone was excited. There was going to be a ceremony with a brass band, a red carpet, and boxes and boxes of books. All the children and all the grown-ups loved reading books and listening to stories. A famous storyteller was going to tell the children a special story. All the engines wanted to collect the famous storyteller, but Sir Topham Hatt chose Thomas. Thomas was excited. You must show the famous storyteller the special sights of Sodor, he boomed. Then, then she can make up a special story for the children. Make sure she arrives at the grand opening on time. Yes, sir, tooted Thomas excitedly. I know all the best sights. Thomas puffed over to... Thomas arrived at the docks. He looked up and down, left and right, and all around, looking for someone famous. But all he could see was a lady with a notepad and a big box of cookies. Are you the famous storyteller? Thomas asked. I like to think so, said the lady. You must be Thomas the Tank Engine. Will you please show me the sights of Soto? Of course, tooted Thomas happily. So the famous storyteller hopped on Thomas's footplate. Thomas puffed away. Pirate's Cove is not far from here. I shall take you there first, whistled Thomas. Pirate's Cove was full of caves and secret tunnels. Legend had it that pirates used to bury their treasure there. You could make up a jolly good story about pirate treasure, wished Thomas happily. But on his way there, Thomas saw James. James was in trouble. My culling rod has snapped, and I'm a guaranteed connection. My passengers have to arrive at Maplewood Station on time. I'm sorry, Thomas puffed to the famous storyteller. I cannot take you to Pirate's Cove. I have to help my friend. So Thomas buffered up to James and his passenger train. Shuffed away. Thank you, Thomas, cried James. Thomas arrived at Maithwood just in time. The ruined castle is just over the hill, said Thomas to the famous storyteller. Now I will take you there. Thomas puffed as fast as he could. The ruined castle had tall turrets and a great big door. The old kings and queens of Sodor used to live there. You could make up a jolly good story about kings and queens, puffed Thomas happily. But on his way there, Thomas saw Emily in a siding. She was looking sad. She was taking flour to the bakery, but her whistle had broken. It wasn't safe to work without it. I'm sorry, puffed Thomas to the famous storyteller. I cannot take you to the ruined castle. I have to help my friend. So Thomas buffered up to Emily and took her to the bay. Thank you, Thomas, cried Emily. Thomas arrived at the bakery just in time. Emily was pleased. And Thomas puffed away. Misty Valley is not far from here, chuffed Thomas. Now I will, I will take you there. He had heard Misty Valley was full of magic. You could make up a jolly good story about magic, puffed Thomas. But on his way, Thomas saw Percy. Percy was in trouble. 
a river had flooded its banks. Percy was up to his buffers in water, and his firebox had gone out. I am sorry, whistled Thomas to the famous storyteller. I cannot take you to Misty Valley. I have to help my friend. Slowly, Thomas chuffed into the water. The water came right up to his footplate. The famous storyteller had to stand on a box of cookies to keep her feet dry. Thomas bravely buffered up to Percy, and he pushed his friend out. Thank you, Thomas, cried Percy. By now, it was time to go to the grand opening, and Thomas, Thomas was late. Cinders and ashes, wished Thomas. I haven't had time to show any sights at all. Thomas arrived at the new library station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. We didn't visit any sites, puffed Thomas sadly. I had to take James's passengers to Maithwaite sta Station, Emily's flower to the bakery, and pull Percy out of the water. But it's a wonderful idea for a story, cried the famous storyteller. I shall write all about your day, Thomas, and how you help your friends. She was very excited, and Thomas was delighted. The famous storyteller cut the red ribbon in front of the new library. She declared it open. Then the children and the engines all listened as the famous storyteller told them the story of her wonderful adventures with Thomas and his friends on the magical island of Soda.